Imagine this, you're 7 miles above the Earth soaring at 600 miles per hour in a sleek metal tube. Have you ever wondered, why planes fly so high? It's not just for the view, there's a reason, several actually, that your journey through the skies happens at 35,000 feet, and some of them might surprise you. And no, it's not because pilots want to avoid bumping into skyscrapers. Let's start with one of the most critical reasons, fuel efficiency. At 35,000 feet, the air is much thinner. This reduces drag on the airplane meaning less resistance and, you guessed it, less fuel consumption. Airlines save millions of dollars every year because of this simple fact. But there's another benefit to this lofty altitude that most passengers don't think about. Down below the skies are crowded with weather systems, storms, rain, turbulence, but at 35,000 feet, planes glide above most of that chaos. Ever been on a bumpy ride during turbulence? Imagine how much worse it would be if we weren't cruising above the clouds. But turbulence isn't the only danger planes dodge by flying this high. There's something else up here that makes this altitude essential, and it's invisible. Let's talk about safety. The skies may look empty, but with over 100,000 flights daily, air traffic is busier than you think. At 35,000 feet, planes have designated lanes, like highways in the sky, to avoid mid-air collisions because nobody wants to experience the world's worst game of bumper cars at 600 miles per hour. And speaking of safety, there's another critical reason planes stick to this altitude. In the rare event of an emergency, altitude is your ally. At 35,000 feet pilots have more time to assess and respond whether it's an engine issue or cabin pressure loss. But what about cabin pressure? Why don't we feel the effects of being this high up? Hold on, we're getting to that. Planes are pressurized for your comfort and safety. Without this, you'd experience hypoxia, a dangerous lack of oxygen. At 35,000 feet the thin air outside means less pressure inside. The aircraft systems work over time to keep you breathing easy. But let's bring it all together. Why 35,000 feet? Why not higher? Why not lower? Flying at this altitude is a balance. Fuel efficiency, safety, weather avoidance, and passenger comfort. It's the perfect harmony of science, engineering, and practicality. So the next time you glance out of the window, remember, every detail of your flight is designed to defy gravity and keep you safe. 35,000 feet isn't just a number, it's a testament to human ingenuity. If you've ever wondered about the incredible science behind everyday things, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this with someone who's always curious about the skies.